Peace everybody, back with another video. This is NYC will be overrun by rats if the Blasio doesn't curb trash and of course poles. Well, as you can see here in the picture, there's a lot of trash and the Blasio is not doing anything about it, obviously, in New York City. And of course the rats are going to come and ha go through all of this, literally, because that's what rats do. They go through trash to see what they can eat and what they cannot eat. So if de Blasio doesn't do something, well, who knows what's going to happen. City streets could soon become the backdrop for a live-action Ratatouille. Its officials don't come up with creative solutions to the growing trash and rodent problem caused by coronavirus inducted budget cuts. Local polls warned Tuesday. Yeah, so the city streets could soon become the backdrop for a live action ratatouille if officials don't come up with creative solutions to the growing trash and rodent problems. Well, if you call the, the um, the garbage trucks to come and get them then you will then they will but as long as the Blasio is not doing anything about it then you're gonna see a live action of Ratatouille literally these rats have have the run of New York City said Comptroller Scott Stringer at a Harlem press conference about the infestation yes the rats do have control of the city because they're running all over the place going into garbage after garbage looking for food because they're hungry and if they have little ones then they gotta feed them too these rats are walking around waiting for a table at outdoor seating Stringer Quipped, invoking the animated 2007 Disney film about an alliance between an anthropomorphic rat who wants to become a chef at a restaurant's garbage boy. Yeah, so the rats are walking around waiting for a table at outdoor seating. So they're waiting for you. So if the so if I were De Blasio, I get on that garbage real quick. So he better get off that toilet that he's on and get to work of cleaning all this garbage up. I've seen them walking up right. They come up to me and say, good morning, Mr. Comptroller. They have become part of the fabric of this city because city government has failed to get trash and sanitation under control. He said at the press conference with Rep. Adrenio S. Pellet. Well, yes, yeah, so um, he said that I've seen them walking upright. They come up to me and say, Good morning, Mr. Comptroller. Well, now that's being a little sarcastic, all right? Yeah. Um, of course, the rats are going to come up to people and they're going to sniff you, see if you've got any food or anything. And you know, with these rats, yeah, of course, you know, everything is all over the place now because uh, Bill de Blasio is not letting people go back to work. He's keeping New York City shut down. He's not doing anything at all. City Hall cleared more than $21 million for litter basket pickup from the sanitation department's budget, reducing service from seven to three days a week. Rat sightings ballooned from under a thousand in April to over sixteen hundred in June. Yes, yeah, so the rat problems they went from under a thousand to over one sixteen hundred rats in June. So City Hall cleaved more than twenty one million dollars for litter basket pickup from the sanitation department's budget all right so they couldn't use that 21 million dollars to send the garbage trucks but they got to use baskets what you know they're gonna get full quick the baskets so why not just send the garbage trucks it'd be a whole lot easier the mounds of garbage are both unsightly and unsanitary driving away customers at a time when Small businesses are struggling to survive and attracting rats and vermin which spread diseases while our city is in the midst of a deadly pandemic. 
Stringer and S. Palladiot wrote in a letter to heads of the departments of sanitation and health. Yes, yeah, so you got rats, vermin, they spread disease, and rats do have rabies, so be careful of them. Um, the mounds of garbage are both unsightly and unsanitary. Yeah, because Bill DeVosio doesn't even care. He just wants to make his briefings all day long or brief his daily briefings and then go home and just collect his paycheck like act like nothing happened to New York City. No wonder why people are leaving New York City because of the Blasio not doing anything about it. They said their offices have filed dozens of complaints from business owners in the last few weeks about overflowing waste baskets in front of their shops. Yeah, of course people are going to file complaints, but is de Blasio going to do anything about it? No. De Blasio does not care. He just lets his entire city run rapid with everything. There's rats, there's vermin, there's garbage all over the place. He lets the rioters and looters run everywhere in New York City. Mm -hmm. This is how much he doesn't care. The polls asked the agency heads to allow business owners to put their own trash bins in front of the stores without facing fines. Used sealed bins for garbage collection days to reduce vermin and find ways to combat rats with the advent of outdoor dining. Yes, yeah, so the polls did ask the agency heads to allow business owners to put their own trash bins in front of stores without mm -hmm. facing fines. And you know, them fines could pile up real quick. And it, who knows what the fines are in New York City, but it could pile up quick. Um, to use sealed bins for garbage collection days to reduce vermin and find ways to combat rats with the advent of outdoor dining and of course you know they want to get keep the rats out of the garbage but with the blasio nope a sanitation department spokeswoman said the city can't solve the problems i'm alone uh yes they can solve the problems just get a garbage truck there and pick up all the garbage now can the sanitation department Spokeswoman say the city can't solve the problems alone. Well, if you get de Blasio to get off his butt and do something, maybe then you wouldn't have all these problems. And of course, look at here's the garbage again. The garbage that is piling up. Well, this is what de Blasio doesn't care about. All the garbage being piled up. The rats could come in here and everything. And I don't know who this clown is. You got people there wearing masks like sheeps, as usual. As the mayor has made clear, this COVID-19 pandemic and its effect on our economy continues. The city needs federal aid or long-term borrowing authority more than ever. Without these, we could be further forced to cut core services even further. Well, if you stop funding all these things, the Blasio, then you wouldn't have all this problem. But no, the Blasio has got to have make more problems for everybody. He's saying as the mayor, or it says as the mayor has made clear, the COVID-19 pandemic and its effect on our economy continues. The city needs federal aid. Uh, excuse me, isn't the Blasio wealthy with all that money he's got? Why doesn't he chip in some of his mess? some of that money to get this city cleaned up because he's he's too much of a tyranny and no wonder why people are leaving New York City because they're mm -hmm. sick of him they're tired of de, de Blasio's tyranny and they're also tired of Andrew Cuomo's tyranny as well because Andrew Cuomo is no help either except making his daily briefings and oh you got to do this oh, ba -da -da. Uh, no As always, we rely on the partnership for our fellow New Yorkers, residents, and business-like to keep our city clean, and we're grateful for their 
corporation, she said. Yes, yeah, so she's saying, as always, we rely on the partnership of our fellow New Yorkers, residents, and businesses alike to keep the city clean. But with de Blasio around, you can't keep nothing clean because he had BLM over there in New York City painting Black Lives Matter in front of Trump Tower and everything. So what does that tell you? People are going out, are heading somewhere else out of New York City to get away from de Blasio. No wonder why people can't stand him and no wonder why people can't go back to work because of him. People need to stand up to this tyranny de Blasio because he is not helping New York City any except running it to the ground like he's been doing for months and weeks at a time. Leave your comments below. I am out.